Hello everyone. So let's discuss the next topic, clavi pectoral fascia. Now, for understanding the clavi pectoral fascia extent, I would like to show you the images. Okay, I would like to explain the attachment of clavi pectoral fascia by the means of a um, vertical extent and that of the horizontal extent. Okay, so let me just slightly enlarge this image. When I am enlarging this, you can clearly appreciate that this bony structure is the clavicle. Okay, this is the clavicle. So, uh, below the level of the clavicle, we can see here the clavi pectoral fascia is actually having anterior and posterior layer and uh, in the lower aspect, if I talk about, uh, so this clavi pectoral fascia is actually located posterior to pectoralis major muscle and it extends below the clavicle and it encloses one muscle, subclavius muscle, which is located inferior aspect of the clavicle and then the two layer, anterior and posterior layer will merge and again enclose a second muscle that is the pectoralis minor muscle. So, pectoralis minor muscle, subclavius muscle is enclosed by it and again it merges lower down with the axillary fascia. So, it is merging with the axillary fascia of the uh, axillary region. So, it is attached superiorly to the inferior aspect of the clavicle and inferiorly merging with the axillary fascia maintaining the dome of axilla. And also on the posterior layer merges with the investing layer of clavi pectoral fascia. So, in the vertical extent, we can clearly see it is uh, giving a wrap around, it is enclosing two muscles, pectoralis minor and the subclavis muscle. Now, let me show you an another image where you can appreciate the similar thing. So, see here, this is the uh, bone which you are seeing, this is the clavicle. Lower to the clavicle, you can see here, this is, uh, we are talking about uh, this sheet, this fascia. So, this is the fascia, okay, which is attached to the inferior aspect of the clavicle and in this extent, it is enclosing two muscles. So, here you can clearly see it is enclosing the pectoralis minor muscle and this is the subclavius muscle. So, this is pectoralis minor muscle and this is the subclavius muscle. This is all about the vertical extent. Now, let's talk about the horizontal extent. Okay. So, I would like to show you another uh, image which is a uh, which is a schematic diagram to make you understand. So, you can see here this is the investing layer of deep cervical fascia lower to the level of clavicle. This is the clavicle bone. Inferior aspect of the clavicle bone, we can see the clavi pectoral fascia enclosing the subclavius muscle. And lower down again it splits to enclose the pectoralis minor muscle and lower down merges inferiorly it merges with the axillary fascia. Now its posterior layer actually merges with investing layer of deep cervical fascia. In this diagram you can also appreciate pectoralis major muscle and pectoralis major muscle is covered by another fascia which is called as the pectoral fascia in this diagram. So, this is the whole vertical extent of the clavi pectoral fascia. Let me again show you this diagram where this is a diagram where you can see the whole extent of this is whole is the clavi pectoral fascia and in this diagram you can clearly appreciate it is enclosing subclavius muscle inferior to the clavicle bone. It is enclosing the pectoralis minor muscle. You can see here it is enclosing the pectoralis minor muscle. So, here two muscles, subclavis and pectoralis minor muscle is enclosed by clavi pectoral fascia. Let's talk about the horizontal extent. I will write it for you. So, uh, before proceeding to the horizontal extent and see the median and lateral attachment of clavi pectoral fascia, I would like to write down the vertical extent of clavi pectoral fascia. So, this is a fascicle sheath, clavi pectoral fascia is a fascicle sheath and it is extending, it extends below clavicle and attached to subclavian groove, subclavius, subclavius groove encloses subclavius muscle. Again, forms a single sheet, a single layer and lower down skin splits, it splits to enclose 
pectoralis minor muscle so it will enclose pectoralis minor muscle and inferiorly it is merging with inferiorly it is merging with the axillary fascia so inferiorly it merges with the axillary fascia maintaining the dome of the axilla so this is about vertical extent let's talk so we have uh, seen this this is the vertical extent of the clavic pectoral fascia and let's talk about its horizontal extent so see here so for horizontal extent again i would like to show you this diagram which is a schematic diagram helping you to understand the medial and lateral attachment of the clavic pectoral fascia so in this diagram what you can see the clavic pectoral fascia has been clearly shown to you this is the whole is the clavic pectoral fascia which i am highlighting okay now so here yeah this is the medial side and this is the lateral side so what you can appreciate in the medial side <clears throat> The clavipectoral fascia.